Performance Max campaigns continue to get lots of updates from the Google Ads team. And if I've said it once, I've said it a bunch of times, is that that just means the Performance Max campaigns are here to stay. Google is not going to invest in a campaign type that they're going to get rid of soon. One of the most recent announcements, or at least the most recent one that we have a video for at this point, are search themes. These are optional keyword terms that you can add to your Performance Max campaigns to help Google find your target audience across their networks. So in this video, I want to walk you through what search themes are, show you how to add them to your campaigns in the old and new UI since we're in that middle ground period, and then talk about some considerations to make sure that you don't dive in head first if it's not right for your account. This Paid Media Pros video is sponsored by Optio, the smarter, more efficient way to manage Google Ads. Optio's platform operates as a second pair of eyes on your accounts, regularly monitoring performance trends to make data-driven optimization suggestions for keyword strategies, bid optimizations, ad copy creation, and more. Better yet, you can save time by implementing their suggested changes directly in their user-friendly interface. Optio is extending their free trial period for Paid Media Pros viewers for 60 days, meaning you get two full months of testing and using Optio on your accounts before you pay a dime. If you're interested in giving it a shot, click the link on the screen right now or in the video description to get started. We're going to start off with the announcement itself from Google because this is a very recent update. And I'll be honest, I have not had a chance to test this beta to see how it performs differently in the accounts because my accounts weren't opted into it until this announcement came out. So if you're one of those people that only wants to hear about announcements, if we have a strong opinion one way or the other, you're probably going to be disappointed. For the rest of you who just want to know how these work, let's dive in. Search themes for Performance Max are designed to help you fill in any gaps in your Performance Max campaigns. As you can see, Pmax campaigns look at assets, feeds, and landing pages to try and understand your users and find people who are interested in your products or services. But with search themes, you use all the information that Google can come up with from those assets, but also includes your inputs to help find users who Google might not be able to find with your Performance Max campaigns. They give a few examples of when you might want to use this. So let's scroll down just a little bit. And the first is that your landing page or website doesn't have complete details or the latest update about your products and services. Now that might sound counterintuitive, but I've seen many times where companies will run lots of conversion rate optimization tests on their landing pages and a shorter, less informed page will actually perform better. So you might not have every single detail available on your landing page for Google to discern and find all of the relevant search queries. Another instance for this is if you have lots of different terms that kind of mean the same thing interchangeably. There are many businesses that we work with that have multiple different ways of saying the same thing. And if you don't have all of those different iterations on your landing page, Google's not going to be able to discern one from the other. So utilizing search themes to help expand your coverage on those additional variants for your keywords will also be helpful as well. These might also be useful if you just expanded into a new market or launched a new product or service, or if you're putting together a new promotion or sale for the holiday season and you don't have lots of performance history. Additionally, if you want to have more reach on search with your Performance Max campaigns, or if you just want to help provide additional information to ramp up and get more performance faster. Out of these five bullet points, there are really two main themes. One is you don't have enough information on the site, and two is trying to get more performance out of the campaigns more quickly. It seems like those are the two main reasons you would want to use these search themes in your Performance Max campaigns. Next, Google makes a point to say that adding any search themes will have impacts across all networks, not just search. But for search inventory specifically, one thing that I very much want to call out is that any of the search themes you add to Performance Max campaigns will have the same prioritization as phrase and broad match keywords in campaigns. Let's hop really quick into a prioritization chart. And here you'll see that out of the prioritization for Google, exact match keywords that are identical to the search are on the top. Phrase and broad match keywords are right below that. This is where any search themes for your Performance Max campaigns are going to live. Below that are all of the AI based prioritizations. And then down below, you might have thought was the prioritization, which is ad rank, but that's actually the last factor they would look at. If all of your other keywords and targeting options 
had the same prioritization based on this chart, then you defer to ad rank to determine which keyword or targeting option is going to show up. And I bring this up because I think this is a very important point for anybody who is trying to be sure that Performance Max campaigns don't cannibalize your search campaigns. If you are adding any search themes to your Performance Max campaigns that are also keywords in your account, and you would rather see performance through that original search campaign, make sure that you have those keywords added as exact match keywords in those existing search campaigns. Based on this chart, that is the only way you can ensure that traffic will be prioritized to search and not to performance max. If all of your keywords in that search campaign are phrase and broad, then you're going to have the same prioritization in your search campaign and your performance max campaign on those search themes. So then when an auction occurs and the keyword can trigger for either the search or performance max campaign, they have the same prioritization based on this chart. So then we will default to ad rank to determine which campaign gets the traffic. At that point, it's up to Google based on their different parameters and you don't get to decide. So if you want your search campaigns to have the majority of the traffic for your search themes that you're going to add to performance max, make sure those are added as exact match keywords in that search campaign. So you don't have the traffic flow through performance max instead. So with that, I want to show you how you add search themes to your performance max campaigns. And as of the recording of this video, we're in the transition phase from the existing 2023 interface to the new Google ads UI that will be rolling out in December. If you don't have that and you're curious about how it works, or if you do have it and you just haven't figured it out, we have another video that you can watch at the top of the screen right now, but let's start with the previous interface first. I'm trying to skip a bunch of steps. So I'm already in an existing performance max campaign and I'm on the asset groups tab to add search themes. We would need to go over to signals, click the pencil, and then you'll be able to add your search themes in this section here. As you can see, we already have a handful added to this campaign. Sorry, they have to be blurred out, but it's just the way it is when you're using a live client account, but you can add up to 25 search themes for each of your different performance max campaigns. To add a search theme, it's pretty easy. Just come down into the box, start typing in some of your keywords and then hit enter. And once there is a circle around it and an X, that means that you have entered a search theme. You'll notice that as I hovered over it, it'll say under review. Each of your different search themes will have to go into a review stage, but I've yet to have any be disapproved, but I bet it just depends on what industry you're in, what keywords you're trying to target in the exact same way it would for any other keyword targeting on the platform. You can also see that since the cursor is over here and flashing, it's expecting me to type in more and you have up to 80 characters to use for any individual search theme. That would be a very long tail keyword, but if you want to have something like that, you can use 80 characters up to it. Once things are active and running with your search themes, you don't really get to have any other insights into how those are performing. Just the same way that we don't get to know how our different audience signals are performing for performance max. So for now, since this is a live client account, I'm going to X out of this and let's go into a new UI. I'll show you what that looks like. So same thing here. We're in a live client account, but we're not running performance max here. So I don't really have to blur anything out, but in the campaign setup process, you'd go down to the asset group and you'll see that search themes is all the way down here, right above audience signal. And then the text box here works exactly the same. So pretty simple across the two. One thing to note is if you decide to use search themes for your performance max campaigns, you will not get granular insights into how each search theme is performing or even how search themes are performing compared to your audience signals. We already don't get insights into each audience signal for performance max. So this won't be totally unfamiliar, but we're also still going to be using Google's black box types of targeting types of placements and performance insights, even with these new search themes. If you're running an existing performance max campaign and you want to know how these search themes perform, I would suggest doing some sort of line of demarcation on the calendar, run your search themes for a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, and then compare the performance for the month where the search themes were active to the month prior to when they weren't active and see how it works. It's not a perfect system, but you can at least see how the search themes impacted your overall performance max performance. If you're not running performance max and you're curious of how these will impact performance, you can either decide to start testing with them right off the bat or without them, and then do the same type of process, comparing performance max campaigns with search themes added and without again, still not perfect, but it's what we've got. Jumping back into the announcement, there are a couple other things that I wanted to outline 
based on what's in here. Some of this we've already gone over, but the first one that I wanted to call out is that search themes will respect your brand exclusions and account level negative keywords. So if you're concerned about search themes having some bleed over into those areas, don't worry about it. They will continue to utilize those and make sure that they're not showing up in areas that you've excluded for brand or negative keyword reasons. It will still also retain any of your URL rules that you have in place, whether you are or aren't using final URL expansion, page feeds, or any of the contains settings. If you're curious about all the different page targeting options for Performance Max, you can check out the video at the top of the screen right now. And then the last piece is that you'll be able to see search categories that your ads match to in the search term insights report at the campaign and account levels and all the associated conversion performance. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have not tested this exhaustively in my accounts just yet, but just upon reading this, this says that you can see the search categories, not search themes. Now we do have a video running through the search terms insights report that you can check out the top of the screen right now, but I believe that you still will not be able to see how each search theme that you applied to the campaign performed, but you will be able to still see all of the search term insights for the search categories that Google has put together. Now, the last thing I want to call out on this page is in this note down here. In early 2024, Google will automatically upgrade existing custom segments based on search activity to search themes. With the release of search themes, you'll not be able to add or edit custom segments based on past search activity in Performance Max campaigns. That means that any custom segment you're building based on search terms, not the interests, will not be utilized moving forward as of early 2024. Again, we have a video talking about custom segments for Google Ads, so you can see a full run through of how those work, but just know that any portion where you're using just search traffic and search behavior will not be available for Performance Max starting in early 2024. Overall, as of this point, I think search themes are going to be a potentially useful tool for advertisers trying to get better performance out of Performance Max campaigns. But my initial read on them is also that we're gonna be losing some of the targeting. And I have a feeling a lot of people are not going to be paying attention to the phrase and broad match prioritization levels. And they're gonna to start to see more cannibalization of Performance Max from their search campaigns. If you've tested out any of the search themes in beta in your account, and you're able to share any of the results, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Otherwise, please let us know if you have any additional questions. We'll try and come back if we have any performance insights based on this. But if you've watched this long into the video, hopefully the biggest thing that you're learning is to always read the fine print in Google's announcements because you never know when one targeting option is gonna go away. And also when a new expansion process is going to potentially overlap with an existing campaign type that you've already been using in the past. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.